the beautiful lighting in my work gym. I've just trained legs. It'll be my fourth to last leg session now that I've just done. So I've got three more left. Show is next Sunday now. Show is next week. So yeah, just did a good leg session. Quite hamstring focused. Got in also like I did some leg press, four sets of 10. Went up to 200, which is at the moment for me like pretty much a top weight I'd say for being less than two weeks out now. So usually I could do about 300. For now it's, we've dropped down to 200 gradually. Um, people always ask, do you lose strength on prep? Absolutely. And at the moment it's at its lowest, but we got through leg press, did three sets of 15 quad extension, did some Bulgarian split squats, which I managed to perfect to the extent that it really gets into my glutes, which is fantastic. So yeah, good leg session. And then I've just tactically done 10 minutes of cardio. So I've got 30 minutes to do on my training days. Almost like stretch out your legs after a leg session, getting a bit of cardio done. And then just getting 10 minutes done now means that I've just got 20 minutes to do later and it breaks it up for me mentally. Perfect idea. But I'm gonna head home now because there's an as delivery on its way, full of Oreos and goodies and cookie dough pie and cookie dough ice cream, all for post show because I'm at that stage now where I'm ready to face this food and not want to eat it because I'm so close to show. I'm so gunning for show now. I don't want to eat any of that stuff, but I'm looking forward to being able to eat it in T minus 1.6 weeks or whatever. No, that doesn't make sense. It's kind of like 1.9 weeks, isn't it? One week and six days anyway. Two weeks yesterday. So yeah, let's get me home and get that delivery. Waiting for that as the delivery. Like, where you at? Here we go. All right, guys. So this is where we're at. There is a lot of prep food in there still as well. Obviously, I've got all my lean meats, my skier. I've got some fresh berries. I'm treating myself towards the end of prep. Some mushrooms which I haven't had in ages as well. But let's forget about that. That's all boring as well, prep food. And let's look at the fun stuff. I, I love Terry's chocolate orange. So I've got myself one of those. I'm obsessing and craving over cookie dough. So I've bought a cookie pie, which I can heat up, lol. Heat up and have with cookie dough ice cream. And it's not even that bad, is it? As the cookie dough ice cream, then I've got myself, I'm obsessed with Oreos, so I've got some Oreo donuts, and I'm sure I've got some more Oreo stuff under here. That's the prep. I won't be having dark chocolate after prep, I will be having Oreo. So I've got Oreo dairy milk to try, can't wait for that. And these Oreo sandwich things, which look awesome, and I've never tried them. And in the morning after my show, I want to just basically have a ridiculous amount of not very healthy granola because let's be honest granola is generally not healthy so I've got myself the tropical stuff which I can just literally knowing me I will just eat through it and like put it in my hands as well I used to love this as a kid I've always liked that cereal but again it's not really the best sugary and you know calorific but I will be having that as my breakfast might not sound exciting to some people but as someone who is obsessed with cereal and has not been able to have it and only have oats for the past 16 weeks. I'm looking forward to that breakfast. And that's kind of it. Probably would think I would have got a little bit more, but let's be honest, there's only so much you can eat after show, and having this just means that I won't go absolutely crazy, because I've already kind of got things that I'm gonna enjoy, and I've got my Easter eggs as well. Because, um, you know, we don't wanna upset my stomach and we don't wanna take things too far. Okay guys, I have a confession to make. It took me until looking at the sell-by dates on the donuts and the cookie dough pie to realise 
I ordered these a little bit too early. I got a little bit overexcited. Donuts, best eating on the day of. So yeah, got a date on the 31st of May. Hmm, okay. In the end, I've frozen them because I'm just like, I don't know anyone who would appreciate Oreo donuts as much as me. So I don't really want to give them away. <laughs> so they're in the freezer along with the cookie dough pie. And I'm just going to hope for the best. But yeah, no one flagged me up on that to be fair. I've told a lot of people about my delivery and how excited I was and no one said, you ordered donuts two weeks in advance? But to be fair, it's now, I've just smashed through Tuesday, which was, I was actually really gonna, I was nervous about this day because I had a really long one. I had my five hour shift, like my last Tuesday morning shift at Pure Gym, lasting till 11. And then I had like about a two hour window at home before I had to come back, train, cardio, posing, and then like four clients. So I was kind of like, oh, it's gonna be a long day waking up at 5am, spreading my food out over the day. I, ooh, I was a bit nervous for it, but no. I've literally just smashed through it. It's done now. It's half past nine. I've just had my last meal. It was amazing. It's always amazing, the last meal. Um, like yogurt and a little bit of peanut butter. So yeah, I actually had a really good day despite thinking it was going to be bad. And my clients did really well today as well. I had some good transformations and I've uh, just little like good feedback from clients and it, it just made me realise I'm so grateful that I've been able to keep smashing them to be honest um, throughout this prep. I've, that's one thing I've not let slide, they've always been my priority. Uh, you know like making sure I eat before sessions and things, timetabling around my clients uh, so my prep doesn't affect it and it hasn't done. But yeah that's another day dusted, wake up tomorrow, uh, it'll be Wednesday, I'll be 1.5 weeks out, I've got a check-in in the morning to look forward to. And my posing as well. So we're getting closer now, guys. Really exciting. Even though prep brain is in full swing and I'm ordering donuts two weeks early and nearly dropping my phone. That is because I've... Oh, that's because I've done a push session today and I can... Literally holding this camera up is really hurting my arm. So I'm going to put it down now and I'm going to get to bed before I get hungry. Prep life. See you tomorrow. All right, so it's Wednesday now. I checked in this morning. 49 kilos, not a massive drop, nothing major. Just feel like my muscles are really depleted, to be honest. I just feel really flat physically. I've been given 30 grams of extra oats for my next two training days, so tomorrow and Friday. Today's rest day, today's pose day. I am just prepping all my meals at the moment, getting my broccoli ready, etc. But look what's just arrived. Yes! My post-show grenade treats that I have been waiting for. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so the big reveal. Exciting. So, we have ordered the spreads that have come out while I've been on prep that I haven't been able to have. So, hazelnut to spread, and this one is white chocolate cookie. And I've seen, my sister has both of them, and I, I've sniffed them several times, to be honest. That's the thing that you do on prep, you sniff food that you can't have. And this, I know, is amazing. Um, I got a couple of peanut nutter flavoured, the Carb Killer Bars, because that's my favourite flavour, so I got a couple. I also got cookie dough, cookies and cream, and a Jaffa Quake one. I thought that was enough because to be honest, nowadays you can get carb killer bars wherever. What you can't get wherever is salted caramel biscuit. And I know these are absolutely amazing. For someone who doesn't really like salted caramel, these are the ones. Taste unreal. I'll definitely be taking one of these to the show with me to have afterwards. So yeah, I'm super excited with all my stuff. So that's just a little overview of what I've got. So excited now, 1.5 weeks. So I've just got back from posing. I've learned even more stuff to implement for show day. So I've got 11 days left now to practice. I'm gonna leave this vlog here though, guys, because it's getting a bit long now. And I'll go into the next one with my posing session and the next few days leading into peak week. It's exciting. I was very happy with my shape today. Stay tuned for more vlogs leading up to show day, guys. If you did like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next vlog. Let's do this, 11 days out. Ciao for now.